So today's video is not going to be a repair video and I'm probably going to draw a lot of thumbs down from people on this but today is a little how-to video. I uh, remember a few weeks back I changed out those hideous looking uh, fluorescent fixtures in my hall and put up the nice looking uh, incandescent with the vintage style bulbs. Well, the old hideous fixtures, there's nothing wrong with them and I want to repurpose them. So what I'm going to do in here is I was trying to think of a place to put them and I found that my ensuite vanity had this ugly light bar that was rusting. And rather than go out and buy a new light bar, I think I'll make my own. So what I did is I went and got myself a piece of finished pine. Uh, that's the bad side. So this is the good side here. And I've stained it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount these three light fixtures, equally spaced of course, onto this board. See these use these use PL9 or PL13 energy efficient lights. And they actually don't look too bad. So I'm going to mount these onto the board and then I can put this over top of the vanity mirror and that'll keep the wife happy because uh, she's been complaining that the one that's been in there for the past, I don't know, 15 or so years is uh, showing its age and she wants something uh, a little different. So I said, well, why don't we reuse these? And I kind of stuck them up on the drywall to show her kind of what they would look like. And she's like, yeah, you know, they actually look pretty good. So today is the, today I'm going to finish the project. I'm going to mount them onto this board. We'll wire it at the back and I'll drill a hole through to take the wires through so they can be all wired up behind here. I'm then going to take it and mount it. And that's going to be today's little short, little short how-to video. So let's start. So as I get them all mounted evenly, I'm going to remove the top bezel. That way this is out of the way. This is what's actually used to hold the glass in place. So we're going to remove this from all three lights to start. And that way I can accurately measure and get all three lights centered. And we'll, we'll get them in place so I can mount them. And then I'm going to drill a hole in the back for the power connector to go through. Now one of the reasons I decided to reuse these fixtures rather than just go and buy another vanity fixture, well, they're ex vanity fixtures are expensive. And these lights here, when these were new, I forget what they were, but th these were probably close to $100 a piece because these were, these are you know, compact fluorescent. And back in the uh, early 2000s, these were the latest things. We didn't have LED lighting back then and the compact fluorescent really hadn't taken off at that point. So if you didn't want to use incandescent lights, these were the alternative. They're all magnetic ballast and each of the lights has a little starter that's built in. They're very reliable and they're very efficient. These are 13 watts a piece. So they are relatively, relatively efficient. Even though when you turn them on, they blink a little bit when they start. I went over that with my wife and said, is that gonna be a problem? When you turn on the vanity lights, they flicker a few times. She's like, nah, I like them, they look good. We're gonna reuse them. So, uh, hey, that's my wife for you. If she can save a dime, she's gonna save a dime. So, uh, I think probably the most expensive part of this project was the wood. I can't believe how much this piece of wood cost. This was like $25 for a, a three foot piece of lumber. I can't believe how expensive lumber is. It's like $6.50 a board foot for this and it's a one by eight. Ridiculous. Now, since when I drilled the holes to mount them because these originally were mounted on a box with a, 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 a stud through the middle. I didn't drill the holes all in exactly the same place so I'm going to mark these fixtures one two and three just so that I know once I measure them which one is where. What I want to do is I'm going to try and I'm going to make them a half inch down from the top and I'm going to start in a half an inch on either side from either end of these for the for number one and number three and then number two I'm going to center exactly between the two of them. I think that that will look good with the top plane a half an inch from the top of the board. That way it'll give me a little bit of clearance above the mirror and throw a little more light evenly into the room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw the, these down. I'm using uh, short half inch screws which will hold these to the board but not 
deep enough that they're going to go all the way through. I can I can screw them down. That way I get my mark where they're going to be. And then I'm going to remove them so that I can drill the access hole through the back of the board to fish the wires through. And then we'll mount them down permanently. But I just want to get my, my measurements correct. So I'm half an inch from the edge of the... Right, of here. I'm half inch from the edge of the board to the brass ring and I'm half inch down from the top. So we're going to do the same on the other and then I'm going to put this middle one exactly halfway between them. Okay this looks to be pretty close. So I'm half an inch as you can see on each of the fixtures. If I zoom the camera in a bit. I'm half an inch from the metal here to the Right, half an inch there. I think we're half inch, half inch between each fixture here. I'm just shy of uh, two inches. So it's one and what is it three quarters to the brass end, and on this one here, I'm also one and three quarters. From the edge to the brass over here, we're the same, All right? So we are centered half an inch, half an inch. So the light fixtures are now in place. That's where they're going to end up being once it's all done. So that's got all three of them level. I hope, yeah, they're level. We're going to take them off now. And drill a good sized hole through the back here so I can bring the wires through to the back so that I can connect them up to the existing wires. Now as you can see the holes don't mean anything because when I drilled these when I drilled the holes to mount them I wasn't really paying much attention to where they are so that is why I put a screw in to hold each fixture in place so that and I've numbered them all so that they go back in the same place and everything will line up I don't have to be that accurate because there's lots of room between each of the lights to conceal the wires. As long as I'm within reason, I'll be able to get the wires through there and mount the fixture. Is find the original holes that I started to thread the screws into. Now it's complete, ready to be mounted up on the wall. Well, of course I have to wire it, but we'll take care of that when I get get it mounted. And I'll show you what it looks like once I get this thing mounted. I don't have any lights in there right now, and I don't have a lot of room to set up a tripod, so I'm going to go mount this and I'll give you guys a peek as to what it looks like once I get it mounted. Okay, I've now got the board mounted right over top of the mirror. Give you a look from the other angle here. So now I just have to put the glass in and the lights. So let's mount the lights first and see if they work. First of all, should work. This is not rocket science. So we'll plug in the first light.
success. Get the other two mounted and then get the lenses on here and see how it looks when we're done. I know I have one that's a different color than the rest, but that'll have to do for now. So there's what it looks like before I mount the covers. Let's take a look at what it, what it looks like when I finally get the lenses mounted, which will just take me a minute here. Unfortunately, I don't have enough room in here to set up a tripod, so I'll have to turn the camera off to uh, mount this. And there you have it. I know, the lights are different color. I'll have to uh, change them. I was actually asking my wife what she looks, what she prefers, and she actually prefers the color of the one in the middle because this paint is blue, and well, it doesn't look blue under those lights, but it does under this one. So, when these ones, this is the newer of them. When I, well, I had three of the same color, and one broke or one burned out. I bought another one, and of course, this is what I got. So, when these ones go, I'll just replace them with this one. But there it is. It's a custom light fixture. Something you don't normally find in stores because, well, they don't sell them like this. But we made our own, recycled three perfectly good compact, well not compact fluorescent, PL type fluorescent with preheat start ballast. And uh, made something unique which looks a heck of a lot better than the old rusty one that came out of here. And uh, I think this will keep the wife happy for a few more years. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one real soon.